Hey everyone, Emil from Little Boomers Basketball. I have some super exciting news. We have a new franchisee joining the Boomers family. What was your name? My name is Maya. Ah, this is Maya, and Maya is now taking over the Shire. That rhyme, that was perfect. So Maya is our newest franchisee for the Sutherland Shire, and she's an absolute wonderful person, a great new addition to our team. Now Maya, tell the camera, for those that don't know you, like pretend someone just is completely new. Tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do. So I'm a mama of three. Um, my job is uh, I work with children and I'm a teacher's aide. Um, I assist in class and help any of the children that need it. So yeah. Good. Now Maya, tell me, you're a primary school teacher. Is this primary school or high school? Um, I did high school for a while, mm -hmm. um, and now I've gone down to primary. Okay, so I want to take it way back to when you first inquired. Now, I was in Melbourne. I remember I was in Melbourne, and I got a phone call from you. I want to talk about the initial phases when you Googled and called, what was going in your mind, and why did you decide to call me on that very first phone call? I wanted to make a change, really. Mm -hmm. I love kids and I want to give kids the opportunity to go out and have some fun, get active. Um, I Like I said, I'm a mum of three and I know all too well how easy it is for kids just to be complacent in front of the TV, in mm -hmm. front of the iPads and stuff. So um, sport really got mm -hmm. me and 100%. then basketball. It's not one that I saw very often and I thought, I love basketball. My husband's a massive fan of basketball, which yeah. helps. Um, and so, yeah. Okay, so I want to talk, you said a key word there, change. What exactly was it that you wanted to change at that time when you inquired and called to me? I wanted to also be free for my children. You see, that's big. Okay, so when you mean free by your children, you're obviously a primary school teacher now. Is that like, as in have more time to be available for them? More time to be available for them and the ability to just live the dream with my kids. Okay, so you've come into the business, you, you want to have that freedom of being your own boss, having that, having that lifestyle so you can be there for your kids. Now, when you Google, there's so many other franchises, soccer, footy, rugby, cafe franchise, all these franchises. Why did you decide to come into Little Boomers Basketball? That's what I want to know and the audience as well. Well, like I said, basketball has been a passion and my husband drove that passion in us. Mm -hmm. um, and there's a lot of soccer and there is a like it's easy to access and I thought, what about the kids that aren't good at soccer or mm -hmm. aren't good at football? The fact that we've given them a brand new thing for them to do and try out is why we chose basketball. Okay, beautiful. So you've come in, you've called Little Boomers Basketball. You're, in, you're interested in, in a franchisee. Now, we obviously started our first term. How do you feel from the point of the first phone call to your first launch? How was that process? That, that whole process from that first phone call you inquired to you actually launching your first term, term one, 6th of February. How was that transition for you? How did you find it? Oh, look, it was crazy. It's been a crazy ride. Um, emotions up and down, nerves, excitement, fear, been through it all, but um, I think the reason why we took the plunge and continued with everything was the excitement was a lot more mm -hmm. than any of the issues of being, you know, fearful or nervous. 100%. Yeah, the excitement took over. And you told me once, and I'm going to paraphrase this, you told me if I was right or wrong, you said something along the line, I'm coming in and I trust, I feel like there's, can you elaborate there? When you spoke to me, you said you said something along the lines of, I trust or I feel like I'm coming in and you, what, what, what do you mean? What, what can you tell the audience about that? Basically, when we were having that conversation, it's, for me, it's all about comfort and trust. And if I didn't feel that with you, no matter how great, mm -hmm. no matter what the business had to offer, it just wasn't going to work. And as a franchisee, I'll be working with you quite a lot. Mm -hmm. And if I can't have trust in you, have trust in your program, and believe that we can grow together, 
Then there's no contract really. Yeah, 100%. So we're coming into it like uh, return on investment, yeah, you're going to do that, that's all good. But end but of the day, family, like, family, you're coming you're in. You're working yeah. side by side. And if you don't, if you're not comfortable with that person, what's the point? Mm -hmm. Like, life is about making friends, becoming family. Like, family 100%. is not just blood, it's people who you meet, it's people who you work with. And if you don't have a positive working environment, then you've got nothing. 100%. And that's how I see every franchise. It's like a marriage, it's, it's an extended family. And um, it's going to be an exciting five years. Now, I want to ask you, in five years' time, we're in 2023, okay. in 2028, at the end of the five years, I'm a visionary, I like to look ahead of things, where do you see your business in the Sutherland Shire? Not just, oh, I want big like, numbers, where do you see yourself? It's 2028. Where is your franchise? Where is your business? What's it doing? <laughs> Give me Within details. Within five years, I am trying and I will be working towards at having 500 students mm -hmm. across the whole Sutherland Shire. Mm -hmm. um, every year, grow it up a step, make sure that we have the numbers of coaches to yep. make sure our classes stay nice and small. Mm -hmm. What we offer doesn't change. That's important to me. I'm not about, okay, growth and something falling and lacking. Quality in, dropping, yeah. 100%. Yeah. So, um, in five years' time, yes, I would love to be sitting at the Bahamas having a <laughs> ice cream. <laughs> no, no, I'll but, join um, you. <laughs> no, so for me in five years, um, do I want financial freedom? Mm -hmm. I think everyone of course. would want that. But it's just to see the smiles on these kids and to know that we're helping them and making a difference and giving them a positive um, outcome from what they do with us. Can I ask you a question? You mentioned financial freedom. What does financial freedom look to you? Well, for me, it's being able to go and take my kids and enjoy life. Mm -hmm. I'm all about adventure. I'm all about doing and seeing. For me, it's the ability to say, hey, let's go to New yeah, Zealand. 100%. You know? yeah. it's, for me, it's the adventure. I'm, not materialistic, mm -hmm. um, that doesn't mean anything to mm -hmm. me. So for you it's more so having that freedom where if you want to go on a for holiday to the kids, you don't have to put four months in advance yeah. work, Just we my, can't for do this. Yeah. Anything that makes family time easier. Good. Last question, and it's probably the hardest question, so take a deep <laughs> breath in and out. So a lot of people, uh, I want you to pretend that there's someone there and they, they're interested in franchising but they're hesitant because they're worried. They, there's fear, they, they just, they, they're worried about taking that next step for whatever reason. Now that was you before, it's now not you anymore because you made the lump, you made the plunge. What would you say to those people that are in the chair, they want to get up and make a difference, they want to be their own boss, but fear is holding them back. What words of advice would you give to someone in that position? I think the only words I can give them is trust your heart. Mm -hmm. If you feel comfortable and your heart says yes, it's a no-brainer. That was a nice, that's a very nice word. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's a no-brainer. Use your heart, not your brain, your heart. Uh, <laughs> with that being said, guys, um, we're super excited uh, for Maya. We wish her all the best on her journey. She's got a great start in Term 1. We've got about 92 kids and we're going to get to that 500 mark. That's our goal by five years. Um, Maya, I know this was torture for you but we did it <laughs> we made it all the best i'll handshake you on camera it's Thank done you. see you guys emil and maya out <laughs> <laughs>